Hello, my name is PD Nice, and I'm here with your WrestleMania prediction card. So, we have 10 matches on this card that I'd like to go over. One is on the pre-show, which is an hour long, and I don't think we're going to use an hour long on that match, which I will explain later. So, I conducted on my laptop here, I'm probably sure you can't see this, but... Guys, that can be on the pre-show in a battle royal. I will read their names off right now. This will be a 30-man contest featuring such likes as... Oh, by the way, it's for the United States title number one contention. Winner faces Antonio Cesaro on the show. This is my one of my three matches I am giving to you to make it up to 13 matches on the card. So, I drew together Alex Riley, Bo Dallas, Camacho, but I really see this injured his... Arm, so I'm going to replace him with the new age outlaws, Billy Gunn and Road Dog. They'll be there. Christian, maybe if he can come back from his injuries, which I heard he was clear. Kurt Hawkins, Derry Young, David Otunga, Derek Bateman, Drew McIntyre, Epico, Greg Colley, Warren Boggle, Evan Bourne, who just came back from injury. Heath Slater, Jay and Jimmy Uso, Jim Mahal, JTG, Justin Gabriel, Kobe Kingston, Mason Ryan, Michael McGillicuddy, Primo, Our Truth, Santino Morella, Titus O'Neill, William Regal, Yoshitazu, Zack Ryder, and if Sin Cara is clear to compete, Sin Cara. Then I would say they go on into a battle royal, 30 men, and they go fight for the United States title. I'll say because this is New York, New Jersey, we have. Zack Ryder win this, it comes down, Kurt Hawkins and JCG also come down to the very nitty gritty in this one, and we'll have Cesaro versus, um, Cesaro versus Zack Ryder for the United States title on the show, but since we're still on the pre-show, let's talk about the pre-show, and the Intercontinental title match between The Miz and Wade Barrett. This match has been up in the air since the triple threat match was made. And Way Barrett won by pinning The Miz. Miz made him submit on Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago. And they've been shouting at each other on commentary ever since. So, I'll say Way Barrett defends the Intercontinental title. All right, because I can't see Miz winning it on the pre-show. And going on to Extreme Rules... Or maybe even between Extreme Rules. The Miz wins it there. But I don't think I see it on the pre-show. I know I said the same thing about Santino and Antonio Cesaro back in SummerSlam. It was on my Facebook post. There's no video to prove that. But yes. Um, the Intercontinental title defends Wade Barrett. So the next match we'll talk about is the eight-person tag team match. This all started back at... The pre-show of No Way Out, uh, what is it called now, Elimination Chamber, where Funk, Tons of Funk defeated Team Road Scholars. Since then, the Bellas have returned and are beating Cameron and Naomi and attacking them. So, Rose Clay, Sweet Tea, Cameron and Naomi versus uh, Damian Sandile, Cody Rhodes, Bree and Nikki Bella, I'll say the faces win. And we'll do the Harlem Shake when Borodka wins. And that's how we're trying to break the record. So that's one match. Uh, now let's talk about the other match I'd like to have on when we're talking about the Divas. It's AJ Lee versus Caitlyn for the Divas title. Uh, I'll explain why about Cesaro in a minute. But the Divas title. First, AJ Lee does not have a match in her hometown. That's pretty pathetic. And you, you kind of built towards this match. It just has to be announced. Now, I don't know what Mr. McMahon's announcement is. I'll tell you that. And it could be easily putting these two matches on. Two or three matches. Anyway, I, if this match were to happen, I say we have a little problem here because Caitlyn's going to be trying to be, gonna be a face. AJ Lee, the heel. But AJ's going to get hometown cheers. So, anyway, I'm going to take AJ Lee to win the belt here and go on to have a successful title reign. Now, you're expecting me to talk about the Tasty match yet, uh, now, but I'm going to go with my other match that we didn't have on. 
Mr. Yodelay Estorio Cesaro. Let's get the belt back. Oh, no, wrong belt. But anyway, we got the new belt. <laughs> Antonio Cesaro versus Zack Ryder. And even though he's Zack Ryder's from New York, New York, New Jersey, I say Cesaro wins and continues to be the seventh longest reigning WWE United States Champion ever. And next week after WrestleMania, he will go on to beat Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shoulder Benjamin at 240. And then his next obstacle is MVP at 343, I believe, or well, one in between. So I say Cesaro might be able to break MVP's record and also Luger's record at 543 days. I know that seems a lot for now, but um, I think the, this kid has got talent. And it's a shame that he's not on the WrestleMania show. Okay, so what's another match that's low on its function that we can talk about right now? Um, we got, I think I said two matches out of, now we have two matches. Uh, let me go just take a look, see what I got in here. I'd rather talk about low functioning matches before I talk about big functioning matches. Ah, here we go. Chris Jericho versus Fandango. Well, whatever the hell his name is. Pretty much, this has been the Battle of Dancing with the Stars, where Sven Fandango is doing Dancing with the Stars, which Chris Jericho previously competed on. Who do I see winning? Who does everybody see winning this match? Is Fandango is probably going to get a cheap shot with his dancer. Jericho's going to lose, and we're going to go on to WrestleMania, like a rematch of Extreme Rules. Fandango's going to get over at this point, and we'll see it from there. What happens from there? Did that one already? So this is next on my card. Let's talk about this one. The tag team title contest featuring AJ, who I again say is going at hometown here. Oh, cheers! With Buddy of the Bank, Dolph Ziggler, who and Biggie Legs, who I see getting only out cheers just because they're AJ's guys. Daniel Bryan and Kane. Big E has dropped both of these guys. Ziggler has beat both of these guys. So let's see if Team Hell No can finally coexist to defend the titles. I say that it's not going to be 18 seconds, first of all, wait. Brian falls for AJ and kisses and gets six eggs. I think that Kane or Daniel Bryan will pin or submit in Daniel Bryan's case. Dolph Ziggler. And I'll talk about that later in our program of why I believe that is so. But for right now, Kane and Daniel Bryan to take the victory and remain TAT champions. They are also the fifth longest WWE TAT champions in history of this title, WWE, with John Morrison and Miz. John Morrison, uh, Miz and, no. John Morrison and Eminem with Mercury. And London Kendrick, and I do not believe I remember the other one, but they were about to beat them anyway, if they could retain at WrestleMania. Next match is the powerlifting contest, where there's no contact allowed until WrestleMania. Mark Harry broke a record, and Ryback was about to. Now this is power, power versus straight, and power, and I, I don't really care much about this match because it's pretty much set since that Ryback will win this match with Shellshock having his big WrestleMania moment. So Ryback versus Mark Henry, power versus power, Ryback's the winner. I think I want to talk about the Shield next. Yeah, I'm trying to go with the least important matches first. But this is a very important match, but we're also at the end of our card here, in the middle of our card. So. Ambrose, Rollins, and Reigns debut at Survivor Series, and they have been attacking everybody since. Originally, Ryback was supposed to be in this match, so he's taking out for the other match I just talked about. Orton and Sheamus, Kelty Vipers, have picked Big Show as their partner. Now, I heard a lot of rumors about this match. The rumors are that Ray Jordan could turn on them. I've been saying since this match, except for a brief period during uh, St. Patrick's Day, where I was going for Sheamus. Uh, but I think that was the Irishness going in my head. 
she will win this match and prove that they are the most dominant tag team in WWE. Then they will take on the uh, Shield will face Team Hell No at uh, Scream Rules to win the belts. I think that they're ready for the belts. Um, and then we got, and that's it. I think Randy Orton turns on Sheamus and Sheamus versus Orton at Scream Rules. Okay, where's the belt? Now it's time to talk about the ankle lock. The Patriot, the American versus the um, Mexican cross arm breaker. Now we know that there's going to be a possibility of not Ricardo Rodriguez being there, but I think he will be there on crutches due to the fact that his ankle is twisted. So Cobra will be there, and I think. This is the point where I don't really care about this match whatsoever. But I'm going to say Del Rio wins this, right? Gets revenge. And then, as I said earlier, we got to talk about the briefcase. And I think that Dolph Ziggler is going to be cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. And Dolph Ziggler will leave MetLite Stadium as the world heavyweight champion of the world. I believe that to be a fact. So, Dolph Ziggler walks out of MetLife Stadium as your world heavyweight champion. The streak's not, Oh, yes, the streak. So, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. If Triple H retires, he... Is, uh, if he loses, he retires from professional wrestling. And with Brock Lesnar, we have Paul Heyman. With Triple H, we have Shawn Michaels. Very happy to see Shawn Michaels there. I had written out her rumors that New Age Outlaws Billy Gunn and Road Dog will be at ringside along with Stephanie and Vince McMahon. We'll see how that rolls out. Anyway, so I see Triple H retaining his career here because there's too many guys that are going to be in the corner. If Bohemian gets in, he'll get super kicked to switch on music. And Triple H will bow down and defeat Lesnar. A rumor is. Rock vs. Brock Lesnar at next year's WrestleMania. We'll talk about that in one moment. So we'll talk about the touts from last night that why was not shown on the television. Anyway, um, so... Next match, I believe, is the streak. The Undertaker versus CM Punk. Neither of these guys are really into this. Punk's really burnt out. So is the Undertaker, but... 21-0 or 20-0. Well, Undertaker said last night he doesn't care about, um... Streak. He wants to kill CM Punk pretty much, but I have. To, I want to say something here. You think this feud would be anything if Paul Bearer didn't die? I want you guys to comment on that, because of the fact that Paul Bearer died, you have this urn thing going on, in disrespecting the memory of Paul Bearer. Rest in peace. And now it's just disgraceful what Paul Hammond did using Paul Bearer's gimmick. I mean, dressing like him on Raw. But it's a gimmick, so, I mean, that's not disgraceful. But anyway, I mean, it's imitation is the highest form of flattery. Anyway, I'm going to say the streak lives on, and we don't see CM Punk for at least SummerSlam, or Money in the Bank, depending on which. And The Undertaker, um, well, Undertaker goes away for another year, comes back, he was 22 and now. I, I just want to bring up something. I remember something. I think I can bring it up now. This is the last match. Yeah. So this is the last match. Before I go into the WWE title picture, I like to say one thing. I read that Brock Lesnar and The Rock will be at um, Extreme Rules. So maybe we have a Triple H Rock Lesnar rematch. I don't know. We're just going to put that out. Maybe it can happen. Maybe it won't. Uh, so. Now we're talking about, and I don't have a belt here, but I have a good replica belt. Where is it? Now you look at this, the WWE title. It's wrong, because you see this thing on the back? It's a piece of tape. Plus it's plastic. The WWE title is not. This is a belt I have renamed the World Acting Championship of the World to face defended in acting scenes. Which you know is more scripted than the WWE. Anywho, Rock versus Cena. 
once in a lifetime last year. Rock wins. So this title over redemption now. Oh, by the way, I want to say I'm like a self self press champion like Zack Ryder. It's the internet title reign. Anywho, Rock versus Cena. He wins. We don't hear about this. Rock wins the belt. Cena wins the rumble. I was not entirely. I don't. I'm not entirely a fan of either of these men. But I will have to go with Cena because something Cena said last year. My name is Penny Nice. I'm a retired professional wrestler with Asperger syndrome and ADHD. I have muscular dysfunction, so I will probably never be in the ring again. With John Cena losing to The Rock, he's like, I lost to The Rock because he was fighting for everybody who ever wanted to be in the ring. So, I have to go with John Cena to win the belt. And I'm going to go on a record who says, I don't like The Rock as champion. He hasn't been a champion. He hasn't been on Raw. He hasn't been on SmackDown. It's been Alberto Del Rio carrying the company pretty much as the world champion. Antonio Cesaro may be a jobber, but he's more of a champion than The Rock. Kaylin doesn't get any airtime, and she's more of a champion than The Rock. Team Hell No didn't get along in their beginnings, and they were more champion than The Rock. We barely defend the belt, and he's more champion than The Rock. You know, Rock said this is a third match back. I mean, I just don't like that as a champion. So, for your final WrestleMania prediction, I'm going to go with John Cena to win the WWE title and leave MetLife Stadium and the crowd the WWE champion. Remember, we had 10 matches to deal with, and now we have 13 on PD Nice's card. So, with that being said, Thank you, everybody, and good night. Well, good morning. I don't know, I'm doing this at daytime. <laughs>